and then leaves for a while and then comes back and does yep. it again. <laughs> He's like one of those hidden bosses of the city that just don't come out all that often. But for sure. Ralphie with the cloud pick, that's oh, really, really uncharacteristic. Okay. Not going with the Joku, the PT, or the Wolf. Wow. You know what? I think uh, you don't see too many Luigi's, so I guess he's probably going to try and play this as if he was, he was playing Smash 4. Yeah. Because he's probably most familiar with it in, in that realm. And he doesn't play another sword character. So you want to play, you want to be Luigi? You probably should play a sword. Yep. <laughs> and I feel like just in this matchup already, like theory crafting right from the get-go, like Cloud has so many amazing dish joints to yeah. really abuse. Um, Luigi, who has to commit with that mediocre aerial drift and Ralphie not getting punished um, on the whiff of B. Yeah, and that's, a, and that's a weird situation because any other character that doesn't have a disjoint landing on Luigi's shield like that, that's yep. a stop. Yep. <laughs> so uh, he has that advantage in this matchup. Nice. Beautiful punish. For sure. He understood that he had to go low. He had to mm -hmm. use the side B to get to where he was. So he dropped to the drop zone and punished him for it. And I love how Ralphie is just like catching these dash ins after he throws out a back air, either going with the cross slash or with the dash attack immediately afterwards, covering almost everything that Luigi can do. Yeah, because I mean, in this game, uh, they gave Luigi this like tether hitbox type mm -hmm. of thing, which is really cool, but at the end of the day, he still needs to get in. Yep. So if you can throw out those hitboxes yep. to stuff him out, like he's going to have a hard time regardless. Yep. Ooh, and Ralphie getting the back air, throwing JKT so far off stage. And he has to be really, really careful. Okay, just a little bit too low to get caught in that cross slash. Uh, nonetheless, Ralphie's still sitting really pretty. Has his stock uh, completely lapped JKT right now, so that's good. And I really, really like what Ralphie did earlier when Luigi had F smashed his shield where he didn't go yeah. through the up B. He was just like testing it out to see is this going to be safe and that he gauged the end lag on it for himself. Yeah. He didn't want to assume anything preemptively. But anyways, that's going to be a 3-1 stock lead for Ralphie right now. 106% yep. and getting a follow-up after the limit neutral beat. Mm -hmm. And just like we said, uh, Ralphie's playing this one. It looks like Smash 4, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that little tether thing Luigi does, <laughs> it looks like Smash 4. Oh, that was really low. <laughs> I'm surprised you made it back. So Ralph Ralphie looks really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like Ralphie's just playing beautifully outside of Luigi's range in the down air. <laughs> and that move is still huh. strong. It's absolutely still yep. strong. Definitely I was not agree. expecting that to kill off the top of the slightest. Mm -hmm. Wow. He looked like he was in spike range as well. Mm -hmm. So it almost looked like he was going to have to bounce back off the stage. But uh, nonetheless, works out in Ralphie's favor. Doesn't yep. have to go uh, play that uh, second stock. And I feel like going into game two. Oh, goodness. They go to regular Pokemon. Say, um, going into game two, uh, JKT. <laughs> has to either, like, I feel like people underestimate the power of parry punishes uh -huh. in really bad matchups. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for example, that's something Apollo would talk about a lot with his ICs. You can really, really boost where your character is mm -hmm. by improving your out-of-shield options dramatically by just implementing parries into your yeah, game. So for sure. Something as simple as that for the JKT can just, like, allow him to create the openings that he needs to pile on the damage. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, a lot of people complain about buffer in this game. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting stuck in shield and you don't really know how many frames you're going to be stuck in shield because of what whatever move comes out and you're not parrying it, that's also going to make you buffer things out of yep. shield, make you get things that you really don't want. So it's just a bad situation if you're not learning how to parry at this stage of the game. But JKT getting something started, and I love it. He was calling in the tech roll in from Ralphie mm -hmm. with the jab. That's, I love that because it's just like so non-committal and just still threw him off stage. And right off the bat, like this game is completely different. They're both on almost even footing. Mm -hmm. but and I'm, su I'm surprised, actually. Uh, it seems like JKT could. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a full Ooh. punish. Full punish. Yeah, you Just can't to do be that. So careful of that, especially in this matchup. You cannot be whiffing an up B because that's going to be the stock of Claudia's limit. Absolutely. But like I was saying, I'm, I'm surprised like JKT isn't kind of taking these strings a little bit further. He's getting these down airs yeah. and nares, and it seems like he's trying to read another option when he's kind of still in full yeah. advantage, I feel like. I don't know. And, and Rafi has been shown nice. nice. Wow. Sick. Got the reverse. Hitbox. <laughs> yeah. That was nuts. I haven't seen that in a long, long time. Yeah, that was really weird. I mean, he was inside his body, but it's, it's weird to, for that move to have a reverse hitbox at all. <laughs> yeah. Especially considering just, like, the angle and the animation of it. But yeah. now Rafi getting a fantastic upbeat. Like, JKT is definitely making the most right now out of the invulnerability ability mm -hmm. on the down beat, just armoring through Ralphie's stuff. And he's using a lot more like dash attacks in this uh, in this match as opposed to the first match, and it seems like that's that's working for him to get in. Yeah. It seems like Ralphie isn't really ready for that. Ooh. And, I, <gasps> and he used it. He had okay. it again. That, that was a weird exchange. Seems like a lot of spaghetti in that uh, interaction. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, Ralphie in advantage right now, but JKT just gonna fight his way back to the stage. 
and it was just so smart not to be going for those, but Ralphie ready with the down smash. That's just maybe a little bit of matchup and experience, I mm. think. You he cannot was, be rolling into those. He was scared, man. He was absolutely scared. You're in the corner against Cloud. I'm not. He didn't have limit, but I mean, there's so yep. many things Cloud could do to kill you. He was scared. Yep. Right okay, now, this is so scary for Luigi. He does not have stage control. Getting uh -huh. off ledge is definitely not one of his strong suits. And Cloud may be one of the most potent and slept on ledge trappers in the game, but Ralphie choosing just to fade back, wanting Luigi to come into him, see if he can whip punish him on anything. And right now, we're back to a ledge trapping scenario. Mm, he wanted him to give it. He wanted him to give it to him again. But it's scary because yep. Cloud's back air is oh. That would be going to kill at 128 after the hit with a little bit of rage. And Luigi Tune is like one of those things that may be like a little bit suspiciously like confusing to DI. Just yeah, because for sure. you don't really know what direction he initiated, especially if you reverse it. You have mm -hmm. to just pay super, super close attention to the animation. Exactly. Because if you get caught DIing in the wrong direction, you'll die so yep. much earlier. And right now, ooh, I love the recovery mix up from JKT, but getting punished for it anyways. It's so, so fortunate for him that he did not get stuck into the wall. Nice. And that that pause by Ralphie was him kind of calling his bluff. Yeah. Like, let me see what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, you waited there? Uh, there There's so many layers to yeah. that. He saw that he waited there, so he assumed JKT was going to go for what he saw. Yeah. But JKT was like, listen, I'm just going to react to whatever you do, and uh, I'm going to go all or nothing on this one. And he rolled the dice, and my man got a seven. Yeah. <laughs> And I just feel like right now, like, JKT is definitely showing up. I, JKT has been in the scene for a super, super long time. Uh -huh. um, like, popping in, in and out. And yeah. right there, he just showed off his adaptation. Coming back from a three stock, mm -hmm. I believe, to make it last stock, last hit with, with that upbeat. Mm -hmm. um, regardless, uh, he took a very, very tasty 15% for himself with the down B. Mm -hmm. And right now, is struggling to find something to get started on yeah, the I'd, I'd like to see JKT kind of take this momentum that he got from it. There's no way you didn't get momentum yeah. from that last call out. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see him take that into this game. But I mean, Ralphie's not somebody that gets tilted easily. So you know Ralphie's going to come in this yep. game three, uh, ready to clear it out as soon as possible. And Ralphie doing a fantastic job of just keeping JKT in the air. And one of Luigi's most potent landing options is that downbeat. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, Ooh. the snipe! My mans! <laughs> My mans! You are too close to this blast zone to be messing around when I have limits. That limit. was so good. He was just like calling out the fact that Luigi has really, really mediocre air drift. Uh -huh. There was, no, there was almost literally nothing that JKD could have mm -hmm. done there. For sure. Or, I mean, I think he was charging the side B. Yep. Maybe don't charge it so early. I mean, maybe get to the yep. drop zone, kind of try your luck that way. But, I mean, it, it's pretty hard when yep. you, uh, Cloud has a sword and a projectile that's that mm -hmm. good, you know? And, and right now, like, Ralphie's like, asserting so much stage control. A fantastic back through off the stage. He has limits. Oh, scary. Nice. And right there, Ralphie conditioned him the whole game to be charging it. This is the way to do it. Mm -hmm. And then the one time he mixes it up after he got punished for it is the time that Ralphie's going to be calling out his air dodge. Yeah, so for sure. Really, really amazing, like, just, like, conditioning and punishment from Ralphie. Mm -hmm. Ralphie is really focused right now. This is, uh, this is looking really bad for JKT. Trying to get a spike, but... Is it going to be so difficult for JKT to come back? But Ralphie whiffing the forward air. JKT able to air dodge right back on. And that's the thing. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. If he can take this stock really fast, he can get maybe a Luigi yeah. stock. <laughs> and then kind of almost make it even. Yeah. But I mean, Ralphie isn't giving him the opportunity yep. at all. Ooh, right now, just putting it Again. so... Yep. Yep. And when you when you're a character that does not play so well in the air, when you best get up options on ledge, off of ledge, are you supposed to be grounded? Cloud's down smash is menacing. You cannot contest that with any of your hitboxes. You can't be interrupting it. Like there really wasn't all that yeah. much that he could have done. It was yep. a 50-50 scenario, and I feel like JKT in game two he did a he did a phenomenal job yeah. in coming back. Mm -hmm. But Ralphie 